Hello fellow book questers, this is Iron Book Quester, and today I have this book, Warriors Darkness Within the Broken Code, book for by Aaron Hunter as usual, and well, let's get right on to it. So, last book, well that was a while ago, I actually discovered that the Warriors Broken Code series had actually continued on to book 5 and 6, and I was insulted because, oh my god, I'm really behind on my books. So I immediately bought this, unfortunately book 5 was sold out, so hopefully I can get that in a later date. However, at this moment, I got this, and here we go. So, Root Spring is the one who can see spurts, and currently, Bramble Star's body has been taken over by some cat. And they want to find out who this dead cat possessing Bramble Star's body is. And then they find out that this evil guy, he's Ashfur, the one who actually had loved Squirrel Flight in the past and had grown bitter to her due to, well, due to Bramble Star and Squirrel Flight being mates. And meanwhile, Ashfur is trying to stir up all sorts of trouble. Star Clan is still unreachable, and, well, it's a huge problem all around. And this time, they, the clans want to and need to find a solution. And due to this, they decide that they will call the Sisters, a group of she-cats who can see spirits and who have small Full of, full of connections that allows them to look at well spirits and summon spirits. Therefore, the sisters are and there for Root Spring and a couple others go on a trip in order to find our dear sisters and manage to find them. They take get, get the sisters back, come back, and they come, and the sisters do the ritual. However, they have never seen anything like this. Spirits were tangled looking like they were in a pain, looking like they needed a rescue. And Ashfur spirit was standing in the middle of them, seemingly happy. Continuing on, Ashfur seems to control all of the spirits that are within Bramble Star's body. Apparently, he's absorbed all of these spirits and is controlling them for some sort of sinister purpose. Then, Ashfur, at the end of the book, takes Squirrel Flight and plunges into the moon pool, and they disappear. And now we lost Squirrel Flight and Bramble Star, and we don't know what is happening with the clans. What is happening with Star Clan? Who, why the heck does Ashford have these kind of powers? Where did he get them from? Well, I guess we'll find out in the next book, and I am as excited and as curious as the rest of you all. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. Have a great day, and goodbye.